Reconciling is an important step in managing your business. Let's go over what it is, what you should do before you reconcile, and then how to reconcile in QuickBooks. When you reconcile, you are making sure the records you have been keeping in QuickBooks match your bank and credit card statements. First, make sure that you have accurate records in QuickBooks. Record all your money coming in for the month and all your money going out for the month in QuickBooks. Connecting your bank and credit card accounts to QuickBooks and then categorizing all those transactions is the fastest and best way to keep your books accurate. If you want help learning how to connect to online banking and how to categorize your transactions, then there are videos at the end of this one that can teach you how. It is best to do this process every month after you get your statement from the bank. You'll need your statement to match the bank's records to QuickBooks, so have it handy. Once you are ready to reconcile, go to Settings and Reconcile. Choose the bank or credit card account you want to reconcile. Enter the statement ending balance and the statement ending date from the bank or credit card statement you received. Double check that your beginning balance matches your statement. If everything looks good, select Start Reconciling. Now, take your bank statement and compare that to the information in QuickBooks, especially the dates and amounts. Find an item in your statement and then find it here. If they match, then put a check mark next to it. If you see an item in your reconcile list that is not on your statement, then don't check it. If you have your account connected to QuickBooks, you'll see many transactions with a check next to them. These items have already been reconciled when QuickBooks downloaded the item, and you matched it in QuickBooks when you reviewed your transaction feed. So no need to worry about these. Once you verify all items from your statement in QuickBooks, you should have a zero balance. That tells you that there is zero difference between what's in QuickBooks and what's on the bank statement. If you have a difference, then you'll see the amount here and you'll need to figure out why. First, select Edit Info and verify that your beginning balance, statement ending balance, and statement ending date are all correct. If they are, go back and check any transactions that you manually entered into QuickBooks, so any item that didn't already have a check mark next to it when you started, and see if you can find the error. You can select any item for more details, and if you need to make a change, you can enter it and save. If you cannot find the error, you can still choose to finish and accept the difference. QuickBooks will create a journal entry that adjusts your books by the amount of the difference. However, you should talk to your accountant before doing this. Usually, it's best to resolve any differences in the reconciliation and to not perform this task. Once you've reached a difference of zero, select Finish Now and then Done. You can look at a detailed history of your reconciliations at any time by clicking History by Account. Now you can try reconciling your accounts in QuickBooks.